Hi and welcome to our new channel. I'm Sonar Creep and everything on this channel is to do with Cakewalk Sonar Platinum software. I'm going to teach you how to make a project or a song from start to finish just using Sonar. So without further ado, let's get on with the first lesson. Hello people and welcome to the new channel Sonar Creep and this is going to be our first tutorial on how to use Sonar Platinum. So as you can see I just double clicked on the icon to start Sonar up and this is the screen you'll get presented with straight away. So first thing we need to do is click new project or we can click new from templates but I think we should get into templates later on. So for now, just click New Projects and you will end up with all of this, which probably looks a bit scary at first, but it really isn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize everything. So we just have a blank screen. Voila. Okay, so from this point on, this is like starting from absolute scratch, and the series will be for people starting from scratch. It won't be um, for the professionals or whatever. This is basically for the novices. So first thing I do, and this is what I'm going to teach you, everything that I do, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the right or the wrong way. It's whatever way you feel comfortable doing and what works quickest for you but this is what works quickest for me so here we go so first thing I do when I've got a blank screen is I set this to all I don't bother with the custom and then I click plus which is an add track button and depending on whether I want to add an audio track or a, in a soft synth depends on up here so for instance let's just go with audio because I'll assume you're going to record vocals and stuff like that just click on the audio this will already be preset up so just don't need to touch anything just click create and there's your track when you get this little symbol with your mouse hold the left mouse button down and drag down and then you'll see your inputs and outputs so we want to select the input that we want to record from in my case it's number five because that's what the mic's coming through and then we need to arm the track by pressing the record button on the track one two one two and you can see the level coming through there now once you've done all this make sure you double click where the track where it says track one to name the track because the it's a bad habit to just add track add track add track and you don't name what it is and then you go have to keep looking all the time see what's on that track it's pain in the ass and a complete waste of your time get into good habits name the track right we're done now then we need to set the tempo which is up here just click on it once and type in a tempo that you want to you know record at so say I don't know 140 for me just type it in press enter it's all there ready to go now we're ready to record and there's two ways we can do this we can either press the record button up here or we can use the hotkeys on the keyboard I personally use hotkeys because it's quicker than faffing around with the mouse trying to all over the place just press the hotkeys you'll get the job done as quick as possible basically and keep you in the creative flow but you don't want not you don't want to be wasting time with anything other than recording getting your idea down so the quicker you can get it down the better so for me I'd press R for record which is what it is and then we'll do a test so let's press R and now I'm going to press I'm going to press spacebar to stop recording ready one two one two one two one two and there it is a one recorded vocal Press spacebar is your spacebar is your start and stop button. So 
stop recording or just play back. So I'm going to play it back by pressing the space bar. Yep, and that's it. That it's as simple as that. And that's basically how to set a, a vocal channel up or an instrument channel, should I say, with um, guitars or bass drums, anything that anything that you're going to feed in line inputs or a microphone input. It's all the same. The next thing you can do, if you're into soft synths, is to click the plus button again. Go to instruments. Pick an instrument. So if we go, I don't know, cakewalk, and add. Uh, uh, drum kit, maybe. Let's have a look. And just click create. Then we've got our soft synth, and I'm playing this with the keyboard, so you don't have to do anything, it's all set up. If you've got a keyboard, brilliant, you can play it that way. But again, this is a, a separate tutorial altogether on how to work these soft synths, but to get one up and get one running, that's how simple it is. Yep, simple as that. And click that off and that's it for this tutorial we've just taught you how to set up a vocal or a line input for guitars bass drums how to arm it ready for recording and how to set up a soft synth instrument channel and again the arm for record is exactly the same just click the R and you're ready to go Press the R button to record on the keyboard, press space bar to stop, and then press space bar to play and stop, and that's where we're, that's where we're at. So that's it till next time, make sure you smash the like button as they say, and uh, subscribe with us, because there's plenty more vids coming. I don't want to make them too long, I want them to be short videos, because you tend to lose too much information the more you try and put on the screen at the same time so we're just going to go baby steps and that way when you need to come back to something you haven't got to scroll through the whole video to get to a certain point so expect them to be short videos like this anyway till next time speak to you soon bye for now